Kerry Noel joins me now, Chairman of Generation Mining Trading on the CSE under the symbol G-E-N-M. Kerry, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for hosting me. You bet. Okay, uh, you've, uh, you, we've got so much we can talk about here, Kerry, because you guys have done this before. Uh, let's start with an overview. What is Generation Man Mining doing right now? Our main project is a uh, palladium deposit in, uh, in Northern Ontario. It's a large palladium deposit. It's the, I believe it's the largest undeveloped palladium property in North America and one of the top five or six in the world. I think you're talking about the Marathon property, which has got a little that, bit of fame to it. That's correct. It's, uh, it's, it's got a lot of history behind it. It's, uh, it was uh, back in 2010, Stillwater Mining took that, the company that owned it over for, for 118 million US dollars. Exactly. And we managed to pick that up for, um, for about six million dollars uh, earlier this year. Huh. Okay, and so the uh, obvious question then is why would uh, Stillwater abandon it? Well, Stillwater um, put it on the shelf. They didn't ever abandon it. They put it on the shelf in 2014 when the price of uh, uh, palladium was weak and the, uh, the mining market was extremely weak. It was very difficult to raise capital. Uh, they had redone the feasibility study internally and uh, didn't like the numbers that they saw. Uh, uh, bear in mind that uh, back then palladium was trading around $500 an ounce. Uh, currently it's trading over $1,500 an ounce, so it's tripled. So the economics have, have changed drastically. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, maybe you could enlighten us because I'm sure my audience would like to know, why is it that palladium suddenly reversed places with uh, platinum in the uh, commodities market? Well, platinum has always been the uh, the king of the platinum group metals, and the, the reason being is because more of it was used uh, for jewelry, uh, for investment, and uh, starting in the uh, 80s and 90s, it was the most popular metal to be used in a catalytic converter in cars. And uh, in the early 2000s, um, testing different chemistries, they discovered that palladium with a little bit of rhodium um, did a better job on gasoline powered cars, not so on diesel. Uh, so as a result, over the last 15 years, uh, virtually all the gasoline cars in the world now are using uh, palladium. Mm-hmm. And diesel, uh, diesel propulsion is kind of fading in, uh, in favor, isn't it? Well, it is in, in automobiles, but they still use it in, in uh, the big tractor trailers, in, uh, in uh, locomotives. Uh, there's lots of platinum going into catalytic converters. Okay. Uh, okay, so when you pick this up from Stillwater, what, uh, what had been done and what has been done since? Well, previous to um, uh, Stillwater getting involved, the previous company had done a feasibility study that was very positive, and in fact, that feasibility study was done at $321 palladium. Stillwater uh, acquired it, uh, started the permitting process, uh, spent something like $35 million on permitting, um, and then as, as I mentioned in 2014, put it on the shelf. In 2016, Stillwater was purchased by a South African company called Sabani. And Sabani uh, maintained the property but did very little work on it over the next three years. Sabani's history is not um, been a mine builder, they've been a mine acquirer, and um, at, at the economics at the time, um, they just they did very little work on this. Now that Palladium has run up, um, they, they uh, decided that they would bring in a partner to develop it. They do have a back-end right. Um, they, can, they can pay us 31% uh, of the CapEx numbers upon feasibility study and buy their way back to 51% ownership, and we would have 49% ownership. 31% of the capex required to build the mine if it goes to production? Yes, they would have to put that money into the joint venture and then we'd be 5149 afterwards. That's if they elected to uh, go back, uh, to, to, to come back into the project in a, in a much bigger way and become the operator. Um, I can't speak for Savani, but um, I would think that given their size, um, with 100,000 employees, that a mine of this size probably wouldn't be that interesting to them. Hmm. Okay. So what's uh, your exploration uh, pro program look like for the rest of 2019 and going into 2020? 
Well, we are doing uh, a 12,000 meter exploration program that started about uh, 10 days ago. Uh, we're, we're testing five or six different targets. The targets that we're testing are uh, a little deeper than traditional on this property. Uh, the, the ounces that we have there, and there's, there's uh, over 6 million ounces palladium equivalent there right now. Uh, the ounces that we have there are all open pit. Um, we're now looking for some deeper, higher grade material, uh, similar to the stuff that they have in, in the Bushveld in, in South Africa. And if we can find some of that, then, then that will enhance this project even further. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so then what are the big uh, milestones that investors should be watching for that would be uh, indicative of you achieving your goals? Well, first thing we're doing is we've gone back to the original drill holes, and there's been been more than a thousand drill holes in this property. Um, and we have gone back to those original drill holes, and we're now redoing the resource right from scratch. Um, uh, that that is because uh, the resources that were done in the past, there were some variances between different ones that were done, and we've decided to to, to just go right back to to square one. Uh, we should have that out within the next couple of weeks. Mm. Uh, second step, um, looking forward to finishing this year, is a, a preliminary economic assessment um, to look at what, what do the numbers look like at, uh, at $1,200 palladium, at $1,400 palladium. Um, uh, we think the numbers are going to look really, really good just based on what is there now. This is with, with no exploration success whatsoever. Uh, if the numbers come out the way we think they're going to come out, then we will be moving towards a feasibility study from there. Uh, the other milestones, of course, are the exploration that we're doing right now. We just raised uh, a little bit more money to, uh, to, to, to possibly do an even bigger program. And um, we're going to be doing, we have two rigs turning right now. Um, and we will be uh, hoping to announce uh, some exciting results uh, coming through the fall. So okay. we've got two prongs. We've got the, the, the economic study coming, the resource study, uh, together with the economic study, and then we've got the drilling. Okay, great. Um, what, uh, what other companies are there in the world that could uh, ostensibly add to the palladium supply in the next 10 years? Oh, in the next 10, there's a few, but um, let's say in the next five years, for, for starters, um, Ivanhoe Mines, Robert Friedland's company, uh, is, is in the process of constructing a platinum palladium mine in South Africa, Platte Reef. Uh, it's a beautiful looking deposit. Uh, it's going to add, uh, in phase one, it's going to add about 200,000 ounces of palladium to the market. That should be in a couple of years. Um, that is, um, uh, to put that into perspective, the, the world mining market is about 7 million ounces. So 200,000 ounces is, is you know, more or less 3% of the market. Sure. Um, the other big change in the next five years will be Norilsk is doing an expansion, a 15% expansion. Um, Norilsk is the largest palladium producer in the world currently. And they're, by going up uh, 15 or so percent, that would, uh, that would add, add to the market. And I don't have the number at my fingertips, but it's uh, probably similar addition to the, uh, the Platte Reef numbers. So, uh, you're going to have a little bit of an increase um, from these two developments, but there's really nothing else on the horizon. There's uh, a couple of other large deposits. Uh, there's one in Finland that's privately owned. Um, and but, but really, most of the other palladium would have to come, uh, any increases would have to come from uh, byproduct production. So you might have a nickel mine being built somewhere. Uh, and you don't really have much of a nickel price currently. So I can't see too many new nickel mines being built right now. Um, and that's where you would probably get any, any additional palladium. There really aren't very many pure play palladium projects in the world. They're just, mm -hmm. it's, it's a rare thing. Sure. Okay. Uh, interesting stuff. Now, finally, uh, what's your cash position? What was the company going to need to raise any money anytime soon? Well, as I said, we just did a, a small raise, uh, $1.8 million. Um, we raised eight million dollars in, um, I guess, June, to uh, purchase the project and to uh, get the company sort of started on this project. Um, that we raised eight million dollars. Then uh, we had about four million dollars left uh, as of uh, the end of last month, and 
Uh, we've just added 1.8 million to it, and our, our program is two million dollars. So uh, we should finish the year with around four million dollars, and mm -hmm. um, in, in that case, we're we're we don't need to raise money right now. We okay. will need to raise money if we want to do further drilling, and we will need to raise money probably to do a feasibility study. You bet. All right, Kerry. Well, it sounds like you're well on your way to uh, another success. Uh, Quickly now, what was the last uh, success that you just you just recently completed? I'm sorry, I, I, it's it's gone it's cluttered with the marijuana industry in my mind, but I remember there was a a, a, a good exit on uh, your last project. So, Generation Mining was actually a spin-out company uh, of our last project, which was called Pine Point Mines. Okay. Uh, Pine Point had a zinc project in the Northwest Territories. Uh, Osisco Metals took us over in 2018 and uh, we took some of the exploration properties out of that company and formed Generation Mining with that uh, as an exploration company and, and we continue as an exploration company but now our main focus is on the palladium because uh, well because we've got this large deposit and because the palladium market is on fire. Yeah you bet. All right Kerry well that's great as the mining market heats up we'll be sure to follow the story a little more closely. Uh, thanks for your time today. Thank you.